In Nehemiah 3, they are rebuilding the walls and gates of Jerusalem. As you can imagine, this was a huge task. And in the face of much ridicule and opposition, Nehemiah responded, the God of heaven will help us succeed. We, his servants, will start rebuilding this wall. And here in chapter three, we see how they accomplished such a huge task by dividing the wall into sections and sharing the responsibility. And the chapter lists each section and who repaired what part. Among them were priests, warriors, sons, daughters, goldsmiths, perfumers, and all other kinds of trades. Now, any of them could have said, no, I'm not qualified, I'm not a professional wall builder, or no, this job is too big, but they didn't. They trusted in the Lord and got to work. It reminds me of the church. Every Sunday, all around the world, real estate agents, engineers, chiropractors, businessmen and women, teachers and doctors, computer programmers, you name it, we all come together and become the church. Musicians, greeters, educators, child workers, prayer warriors, student mentors, and groundskeepers, all working together to serve God and His church, but most importantly, to worship the Most High God. It's a great mystery. It's an amazing sight to see and be a part of. It's something the world ridicules but can't deny the existence and the power of God's love. If you are a child of God, you are part of the body of Christ and you are called to serve as part of that body. Listen to Ephesians 4.16. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly as each part does its own special work. It helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. <laughs>